Hi there, Will Rice with the TIPS team, bringing you another after school special. Today we'll be talking about a great new beta feature that Google Classroom has added in recent weeks. That's the ability to create a video activity from any YouTube video. It's as easy as adding an assignment, selecting the YouTube, insert YouTube link at the bottom of the page. You'll note that the new icon indicates that a new feature has been added. Searching for or pasting in the, a URL of a video that you want to use, clicking search, and then heading over to the add questions button. This takes you into the video activity editor that allows you to work through a video and add breaks and sections with interactive activities. Let's hop to one that I've already prepared. How the editor works is you scrub through the video to the port where you'd like to add an interactive portion by either scrubbing or by clicking play, and then click add at that point of the video where you'd like to add either a multiple choice, checkbox, or open-ended question. In this case, at this point of the video, after the end of the introduction, I've added a multiple choice question. It's a simple question of which part of a lever is where the bar rotates around, and I can add, three, uh, it defaults to four, but I can add three, four, or more options, and then select the correct answer, and save and continue. Save and continue will resume the video from that point. You can again scrub to the next section where you might want to add a piece, and you can go ahead and add uh, another interactive piece. After you've been working on this, you can actually just jump around by simply clicking on the activity. In this case, I've added four. Here, for example, I've added um, uh, a checkbox option where students could select more than one correct answer if I wanted to have that. Um, in this case here, again, here's two correct answers and an open-ended question about what a third class lever might look like. The nice thing about this editor is it gives you the questions, the timestamps, the ability to go back and edit, but also the ability to click try as a student to see exactly what the students will see when you launch that activity for them as an assignment. When I'm all said and done, I can go ahead and click attach, and that will add it to that Google assignment for the students. In this case, I've given them some simple directions, set a due date for them to watch the video and complete the activity, um, in this case, I'm going to make it ungraded because this is just a review activity. No need to give them a mark. So I'm going to go ahead and click assign and now that will be, be live for all of my students. What's really nice about this is after you've assigned a video and the students have completed it, you can actually go back in and see each student's individual results. Let's go ahead and click review work for this previous video activity I've given to a student. In this case here, I can see that one student has completed it, they got three of the four things correct, and they're waiting on one more answer. You'll see here that the one that they missed was ungraded, that's why it's saying three out of four because I did provide them with the ability to just enter some text. You'll also notice that if they got it right on the first time, it's a dark green, and if they didn't get it right on the second and it took them more than once, it's a lighter green. If they did get it wrong, it would come up as a red X. It's also giving you insights about students that had to attempt a problem multiple times. So even though the students are maybe having to get it right once or twice, because it does allow them to continue trying and rewatching the section until they get it right, it will tell you that the students took multiple tries to get this one correct. I can click on an individual student and look at their individual results and read the uh, open text entries that I may have given them. And then I can even give them private comments back or just use that information to guide my instruction on this topic in the future. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and head back into the classroom here. You might have also noticed that when you create an assignment and you uh, go to assign a YouTube uh, video, that now in, it will also give you access to all the previous video activities that you have created. So you can see here now, here are a number of activities I've created. So if you do want to assign this to another class in the future or next year, this video activity list should be here for you to uh, take a look through. You can also go back to searching through and starting over. As a beta, there's no search in here yet, so this might get a little um, busy as you work through, so you may want to you know, consider how you're doing this. 
but uh, just know that uh, you definitely will be able to continue assigning that or reassigning that throughout the term or the year with other students. Hopefully, this quick tool will uh, help you create more interactive uses of video in your classroom and also avoid those ads that students might be seeing as when they watch this, they'll simply see the video and the activities that you've provided. If you have any questions, you can reach out to your TIPS team member or go to tipsepsbca for more information.